Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hello everybody. I want you to see my little costume. I'm a bat. I'm a bat, I'm a bat, I'm a bat. I'm a cozy bat. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are loving the vibes. Um, you can't really see my ears, what's going on here, but I'm a spooky little bat and I am here to talk to you about some more spooky plants. I'm a bat, I'm a bat, I'm a bat. Hello everybody. Hello, I'm a spooky bat. If you couldn't tell. Whew. I'm a hot bat. It's hot. But it's a nice cool night. Also been sipping on some wine before this, so. Well, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Come in. Let's talk about some spooky plants again. <laughs> so today's video is a little bit different. We are in a different place. My front porch and it is dark outside. Um, my back costume is getting a little hot because I've been like doing a lot in it just then, like filming. So in today's video, I want to talk to you guys again about some spooky plants. And in this video, you guys, I am just gonna be upfront with you. All of these plants are from one Instagram page and I will um, put it right here on the screen and also link them below um, just because I want to make sure they get credit for all these photos. But yeah, it's definitely from um, Skindapsis underscore Borneo. Borneo, I'm not sure how to say that. Sorry if I mispronounce it. If you ever see this video, probably not. But anyways, okay, so I'm going to be doing this video the same style I did my other one where I will be inserting photos. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into the first spooky plant. This one is called a bat piper and what how is this even a thing like did you guys know this existed because I did not know this existed how is this even a plant like what in the heck it is gorgeous okay gorgeous so yeah the bat piper is freaking phenomenal like I don't even know how this exists and the fact that it's like fuzzy like gives it even more of like a creature like vibe because it looks like some sort of like a butterfly in um camouflage right okay i don't know tell me you know let me know in the comments what you guys think about this you might need to start a comment and then just keep editing it or something because i feel like you guys are gonna like a bunch of these plants because when i found them i was like i'm doing a video on all of them on this page because you need to see them i could literally talk about this bat leaf call it the bat leaf piper this um bat piper like all day all night it looks to me like the hairs don't really come in until it matures more so i don't know that's really cool and i want to get my hands on one of these plants one day so i'm gonna be keeping my eye out these next few i'm gonna be showing you is just a whole bunch of different skindapsis um varieties and like with different patterns oh maybe this is just one with a bunch of different patterns it says it is the black skindapsis borneo i'm not sure this instagram is in a different language by the way so it says this one side is glossy and the other side is doff i don't know what that means or if that is just in a different language i feel like an idiot right now but i wanted to do this video and i just wanted to share these freaking plants with you guys okay this one that i'm gonna show you is a full black skindapsis and oh my gosh that is just giving me like Mm, Halloween vibes, goth vibes. I have nothing to say about these other than I just wanted to show them to you. So just a heads up. Okay, this next one, oh my gosh, this one reminds me of like a classy frog, like, you know, not a toad, but a frog. And it is a Labissia turtle. Um, so I guess it could remind you of a turtle, but it reminds me of a frog, okay? And I think it looks so, so cool. Like, what? 
look at this photo do you see this photo you guys like oh my goodness the texture on it i just want to like run my fingers on the top of the leaf and feel the texture because that is freaking cool i wonder how hard um this one is to like care for if you guys have ever seen these or heard of any of these and if you have any like care tips please put them in the comments below because i would love to know and i'm sure other people you know would lo love to know if they are like easy to care for or if they're like a rare plant that is something you need um like a tent or a bunch of humidity for but yeah what do you guys think about this labisia turtle i love it and it's a frog Ooh, this next one oh my gosh this reminds me of one of the other plants that i featured in like a wishlist plant i think in my top 10 wishlist plants i don't know but this one is the labisia sumatra jugga gk kalakis what i don't know what the heck but look at this one you guys what do i even say about these plants other than they look freaking cool and they give me like halloween vibes obviously because they're black and green and dark foliage obviously the pictures are a little bit edited to make them look even darker than what they probably appear in person but i don't care i want them they're cute Ooh, look at this one lima bilis cantic I don't even know what these plants are, how they exist, how, how is nature like this? Like, what? Oh my goodness, that is so cool. This one reminds me of, it's nowhere near the little sensitive plant, but it just reminds me, like, it looks like that type of texture on the leaves, and obviously this one is way bigger than the sensitive plant. That's just what the texture reminds me of, and I love, like, the white line going down the center. Like, that is just too cool, right? Oh, so cool. And then the red stems, like, wow. So you got the black, white, and red. Perfect. Halloween, say less. We're actually almost done with this. I'm not trying to make this a super long video, obviously because I have no idea what I'm talking about for one. And two, it's just me saying, oh my God, this is a cool Halloween plant. <laughs> but this one is really cool. This is a Skindapsis tricolor snake scale. So this one is a Skindapsis snake scale, and this one is one of the shingling plants, and bro, I need to like touch the texture of this one so bad. Um, it looks like it probably would have the texture of a Peru. That's just the vibe I'm getting based on the photo. Let me know what you guys think, and if you have one and you wanna trade or swap or whatever, let me know in the comments. I wanna see one of these in person. That is just so freaking cool. Like, oh my God. I have a Dubia I am currently trying to get um, to pop out some more leaves, and then eventually I will get it to start shingling, hopefully up a piece of wood, so yeah. I'm excited for that. Um, Dubia is nowhere near this type of plant, but it's a shingling plant that I have and I'm excited to get it to shingle. Okay, this next one um, is definitely in a different language. Piper sylvaticum? I'm not sure. This is for if you love pink in your plants and it is the heart-shaped leaf with pink like speckles on it with it looks like velvet, dark black, or just a dark foliage um in the background and then it's got these um i'm not sure if they're white or if they're just like a off green color in this photo but it's got the veins and they are really prominent and then the speckles the little tiny speckles of pink it's almost like you barely took a paintbrush and splattered it onto the plant um with pink paint paint pink paint and i don't know it's so cute and i love it and i'm gonna keep my eye out for this one too because i love heart-shaped leaves and I like a little bit of pink on the plants, but I like dark foliage. Honestly, like, I just love plants with dark foliage. Ooh, this one. Okay, so I think this one is... Oh, wait. That's the same thing, maybe? This one might be the same thing, but I'm going to throw the picture up here anyways. It says this one is also a Piper Sylvaticum, but I don't know. It looks... It's not heart-shaped, or maybe it's just the angle of the photo. I don't know. It's probably the same, you guys. I'm sure you will be like, that's the same, girl. Um, but this one is cool too. And I thought this one was more like in the orchid family, but now I think it's just like the other one we just talked about. So next. Okay. So this one is another shingling plant. This one is called, um, Anakin Raphidophora Tinius Silver and the texture on this one as well. What? 
it also reminds me of, of a Peru, but way more textured and like um, not as um, big of bumps, but like tinier bumps closer together. Um, yeah, this one looks so cool. I love exotic plants like this and yeah, I want to get my hands on one of these. My neighbors just got home, so now I feel awkward filming out here. I have all these ring lights and obviously you can see what I'm doing because it's freaking pitch black. And then look at my little setup all back here. Oh my gosh, I wonder what they think. Okay, but yeah, back on this plant. Um, it's also a shingling plant. I don't know if I said that, but I love it. And honestly, you guys, that was the last plant that I had to talk about. I hope you did enjoy this type of video. Let me know in the comments below if you are enjoying my little spooky series so far. I actually had so many other things like planned that I wanted to try and do but time is really like getting ahead of me and I haven't had the motivation honestly to do it either um I'm just tired all the time and I don't know I'm never like I never have a peaceful moment to where I can just kind of sit down relax think about what I'm gonna do and film it without any interruptions because I literally lose track of what I'm thinking or talking about like within a second. I have like a two second memory. It's kind of bad, but it's the truth. <laughs> so yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed this type of video and thumbs up the video if you like my cozy back costume. Um, let's show it one more time. Mm, she's a cozy bat. So cute. So that was it for the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel and hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.